The photography DIY ceiling lighting rig folks, I'm going to be showing you the update on how I've tweaked it and a couple of little accessories that I'm using now, four years down the line. Welcome to the channel folks, if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen the first video I posted about the photography ceiling light rig that I made, I'll pop a link to a card up here and I'll also pop a link in the description below to the video and also the blog post which goes into great detail showing you all of the gear that I used to make a really inexpensive pantograph ceiling lighting system which I've used in my studio for the past four to five years and it's been fantastic. So check out those links, go and watch the first video then pop back to this one and I'll show you the updated version of it and how I've tweaked to shoot to suit how I shoot now. It's one of the changes I made to the actual ceiling rig. The initial one I had a H section running across which allowed me to move the whole section all the way across the studio and which allowed me basically to put the light at any point across the studio. It was absolutely brilliant, really really good, loved it but because my ceilings are so low adding that extra uni strut underneath the existing uni strut dropped it down about three or four inches which made a massive difference in the studio. So I took that away and I've got the lights that little bit higher and it does make a huge difference. But what I've done, the section that I took away, I just put down the center. So now I can put the rivet guns on the channel trolley at any point across this space. And this is a tiny space, so that's more than enough for me. So if you guys have got a bigger, a bigger ceiling, the H section will work absolutely fantastic for you guys. It really will. And it worked to treat me out, like you see, these ceilings just aren't high enough. So that's why I swapped that out. So that was the first change I made. And one of the other things I wanted to, to make a note on as well is that if you actually, if you watch the first video and you check out the blog post, if you want to make these rivet guns bigger, these bolts just come off. So you can buy two rivet guns, take this section off, take that section off, and actually double the length of that rivet gun. So you have got higher ceilings, this rivet gun will work ideally by buying two and just attaching them both together by taking them nuts off. Um, so that's another versatile way. These are really in inexpensive. They're about £17. When well, they were when I first bought them, I know a lot of people in the USA thought these were super expensive, $100, but I have found them cheaper. I'll try and put the links in the description below, as with everything else that I'm going to show you. Um, but these are just normal, cheap rivet guns, really, really inexpensive. And I'll uh, put a link to the shop where I actually got them from. This brand of rivet guns called a Silver Line. And all I've done is I've drilled through the handle attached a channel trolley which runs in the uni strut which is fixed to my rafters on my roof and that just allows me to hang the lights by adding a spigot to the bottom of this river gun these fit perfectly and it just allows me to hang my lights from the ceiling uh, but not just lights now I've changed it up a bit like I say with the uh, change the way I'm shooting now so I'm going to show you what I'm using as you can see behind this here I've got a scrim which is hanging from the river guns either side now obviously I use that a lot for product photography so this just allows me to obviously put this in any position I want, drop it down, and then obviously bring one light in above it, and allows me to get that light in position nice and easy. And as you can see, I have my product sitting down here. I have all that floor space to use to get in reflector cards. If I do need any more light, I can pop another light on, this, on the floor, a small floor stand. But it just makes for a better shooting space for me. Um, it really does make a big difference and I'm using what I'm using to attach to the river gun is just these clamps these you can buy off of Amazon I'll put the links in the description like I say but these are brilliant because you can just attach they have the uh, the quarter inch thread on and they can just attach to the bottom of the river gun and I can hold up anything I've used these in portrait sessions where I've actually put a reflector in it obviously uses a fill light or uses it as a negative fill, depending on how you want to shoot. Um, but that, again, really versatile. I've actually got one now sitting, shooting, lighting us now with the video light. That's sitting on one over there. And um, you've got the, the scrim sitting up here. But again, like I say, it just allows you to put it out the way, anywhere you want. I've actually used this for a portrait session also, which is ideal. I have a bigger one, I have a smaller one. And obviously mix and match them up, it's brilliant. Makes my studio just that little bit bigger, even though it's tiny. That's the wall, that's the wall. It's not very big at all, you can see the shooting space. But it has made a huge difference. I know it's made a massive difference to a lot of other people who have actually set up this system in their small studio spaces, um, which I'm super pleased about. That's why I, I put the first video together. But I just wanted to give it a quick update to show you um, how I'm using it now and how I've kind of adapted it a little bit. 
to make my work flow a lot easier and to make use, better use of the space even more. So there you go, just want to give you guys a quick update on how I'm using it now. Like I say, I would highly recommend you go and watch the first video or actually check out the blog post which goes into more detail. Um, but just wanted to give you guys that uh, little update. I thought it was about time after it's been about four or five years, things do change and it's still rocking, it's still working perfectly guys in this small space. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the, new to the channel and uh, flick the notification bell so you can see when more videos are posted. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.